Hey guys, welcome back to Dipswitch Demos. My name is Jackson and today I thought it'd be cool since we did a rundown of my kind of big board, um, my kind of everyday board, let's talk about my little board. Um, so I put together this board mainly because of demos. Um, basically I was just getting fed up of ripping my main board apart every time I had to demo a pedal. Um, so essentially this has become my demo board. But recently I've been using it more than my big board. There's something nice about stripping it down to pretty much the bare essentials or just kind of one of everything that I need or what I like. Um, so we're on a Pedal Train Nano Plus. I like it because it's flat. It's good for doing um, kind of overhead shots on your camera. You don't have to kind of counter make it so it's flat. Anyway, yeah, so it's flat, powered by True Tone uh, One Spot CS6. CS6, I think it is. So basically uh, the uh, low profile True Tone version, essentially the low, pro low profile version of what's powering my big board. Um, so powered really comfortably by one of those. And then we, like I said, we've pretty much got one of everything I need. Tuner, obviously, um, the Latent Lemon Audio Hertz, which is probably, probably my favorite fuzz pedal at the moment. Then we have the Hamstead Odyssey, which is kind of my, seeing as I've only got one overdrive on the board, I thought I'd get one that could pretty much do everything. And that's that, I can get kind of my favorite kind of transparent, low gain stuff, all the way to cranked amp, crazy stuff um, so that's kind of my like I said do everything overdrive then we've got a solo boost um, recently put this on there actually so this is the KO sound power boost um, kind of based off those color sound boost pedals um, but really unique tone I kind of I like it everything set at 12 o'clock um, gives you enough volume for your solos and stuff um, but also adds a really unique kind of hair to it um, then moving on, we've got currently got the Dimension C Wazacraft. Um, always like to have some sort of modulation crazy thing on there. And at the moment, that's got the top spot. And then finally, personally, I've always got to have a delay pedal. Um, and that is the Boss Delay DM2 Wazacraft. Again, but by Wazacraft. So that's pretty much it. I thought we'd go through some tones for you guys. Um, like I said, this is the demo board. So this changes almost on a daily, weekly basis. Um, things are getting ripped off, you know, from demo and a pedal that gets straight put straight onto here. Um, but this is kind of what I put it back to after a demo, if, you know, um, this is what I kind of use. It's almost like my practice board as well. It's what I use kind of every day and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get some tones. Obviously the tuner is first, so don't need to demo that. Music Man Valentine today, again, into the Victory V40 with a little bit of reverb. I think I turned the reverb off, so let's turn that back on. First in the chain is the Latent Lemon Hertz, which is, like I said, my favorite fuzz pedal. This is my clean sound. <laughs> in the world um, sounds ridiculous and when you get kind of 10th fret on the lower strings you get this kind of lower octave thing going on sounds great nothing wrong with that like I said it's probably my favorite fuzz pedal at the moment um, definitely go check one of those out you need one so next is the Hampstead Odyssey do it all overdrive Thank you. 
sweet sounding pedal. One of my favorite things about this pedal is the switch as well. It's a super, super soft, soft switch and it's great. Um, so next we're moving on to this boost pedal, like a solo boost, but sometimes I leave it on just for the hair and stuff. Um, so clean sound. <laughs> You can hear it kind of uh, fluffs out a little bit. I like that a lot, I like that. Throw on the Odyssey, for example. Oh. I like that boost a lot. Um, something a little different as well, which I appreciate. Uh, then the dimension C. Again, nice. You've seen all about that pedal online. Don't need to explain it anymore. And then delay pedal. Um, can use this a uh, little, not weirdly or anything, but essentially I set everything at about 11 o'clock and then I just switch between the standard and the custom modes for my different delay times. So in the standard mode, this pedal setting is about, is like a nice slap reverb thing. <laughs> So a bit longer than a slap, but I really like that delay sound, um, really crunchy and broken as well. Cool, swip over to the custom and you get a much longer delay time. And that is about it. That's my mini demo board. My, uh, basically my mini board. Like I said, I've been using it more than my main board recently. I just like, it's just really cool stripping it back a bit. We should all do it a bit more. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking out the video guys. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe or maybe check out some more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.